Hey, so today I want to talk about the top three hard skills that you'll need to be a data analyst or a data scientist. We'll talk about what they are, why they're important, what you'll need to know, and how you can develop those skills. Let's get started. The first critical skill is SQL. SQL is gonna help you get your own data from the data warehouse without having to rely on somebody else to get it for you, whether that person is a data engineer or another analyst. It also helps you build repeatable data pipelines so that you don't have to pull the data down into Excel or into Power BI or Tableau or some other BI tool in order to manipulate the data. It's gonna make it a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. When you start working with large volumes of data, it takes a long time to pull that data into a tool before you can start manipulating it and cleaning it up. So SQL means you can do that manipulation in the data warehouse, you pull down less data, everything works a lot more efficiently. To be able to use it, you wanna be able to run simple select queries. You'll wanna be able to filter data with a where clause so you can select on your part of a table. Um, you'll also be able to want to aggregate data um, using a group by and the aggregation functions and also to be able to join tables together. You don't have to use super complicated joins or anything like that for the most part, but you do want to be able to join a few tables together to get the result that you're looking for. And then finally, you're going to want to be able to build a basic data pipeline. So that might involve using temporary tables. It might involve creating tables, dropping tables, things like that, depending on your data warehouse. Speaking of that, you're going to want to talk to somebody at your company to figure out what flavor of SQL you have before you really dive into learning too much. There's a lot of basic stuff that really crosses over a ton of different data warehouses, but uh, SQL has its own nuances depending on which data warehouse you're working with. So definitely talk to somebody at your company and they can help you get connected to the data warehouse as well as learn the right things for your particular platform and your particular implementation. Uh, there are a ton of great online resources out there though that will cover a whole bunch of different use cases. There's a bunch of books. SQL has been around since the 1970s, so it's pretty well established. Uh, there's some really good interactive online tools that I'd recommend. And one of my favorites that I recommend to all the new people who join my team is the SQL Murder Mystery. It's a little bit of fun. It's a SQL based game where you can solve a murder uh, using SQL and by joining different tables together. There's also a couple of other different games out there like that. So if you want a way to practice that feels a bit more fun than just joining tables together for the sake of joining tables together, those are a great place to start. The second critical skill that you'll need is how to use a BI tool like Power BI or Tableau to visualize data so that you can share it with your stakeholders. The specific tool doesn't matter that much, but these tools are the only way that we can share these really large volumes of data that we work with with our stakeholders in a way that makes it meaningful and helps them understand what we're saying. You want to learn how to build visualizations that align with the best visualization practices, uh, when to use different types of visualizations, things like that, um, as well as how to build some interactivity and flexibility into your dashboard so that users can self-serve a little bit. The more sophisticated users will want to be able to go in there and customize a few things and see it at a few different levels while they explore the data um, and set them up, set themselves up with the right cuts and views. Um, where to learn it? Books are great for learning about dashboard design. The Big Book of Dashboards, uh, Storytelling with Data are two really good ones with some great examples of data visualization and how to build dashboards. How you build those things is going to be specific to the BI tool that you're using. So if you're using Power BI or you're using Tableau, you'll want to make sure that you have resources specific to that tool. That's going to vary a bit but there are some great resources on YouTube. Obviously this channel has some Tableau videos and some Power BI videos, so that's a great place to start. Um, but you can also find resources on both the Tableau website, the Power BI website. They have great resources from Microsoft, uh, from Tableau to walk you through how to build dashboards in both those tools. The third critical skill to have is definitely to be comfortable in Excel. Even though we as data analysts like to think that we've moved beyond Excel as a tool for data visualization and analyzing data, it's still used by us and by a lot of our stakeholders. And it's a great tool for a quick cleanup of data or for presenting some quick piece of analysis or just sharing some data with someone who uh, might need a particularly custom or a particularly unusual view that your BI tool is not able to take care of. You'll want to learn how to do a really quick piece of analysis, whether that's a quick pivot table or a quick pivot chart, just to pull something together very quickly to share with someone. Um, and you'll want to learn how to quickly combine and clean data. So whether that's using lookups or whether it's using Power Query to combine a couple of different tables, those sort of skills really help uh, when it comes to moving quickly through an ad hoc piece of analysis that may have popped up at the last minute. You can learn a lot of this stuff online. Obviously, there's a ton of resources on the internet for learning Excel. That's how I learned Excel, was through a few basic thoughts and then going online and Googling what I needed to know next. So uh, pivot tables, pivot charts, lookups, all that sort of stuff is easily available on a bunch of forums. There's a ton of stuff on YouTube for it. So I really recommend getting strong and getting comfortable with Excel. 
Don't try and do everything in Excel, but certainly getting comfortable with doing ad hoc stuff in there is a really critical skill if you wanna be a good data analyst. So learning SQL, learning a data visualization tool, learning Excel are the three critical skills that you'll need to be a data analyst, whatever the role that you have. There's a ton of other soft skills and things like that, but those are the three technical skills that you will really need to lean into and that you will use every day as a data analyst. If you found this video helpful, please do like it and subscribe to the channel. We talk about Tableau, we talk about Power BI, and we talk about how to communicate with data better. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you next time.